Okay, so my thoughts. I am so, I don't truly know what to do because as any rescue will tell you, when you, first of all, every time I get emails from people wanting to surrender their horses, they're always frustrated because every rescue they've reached out to says, and sanctuary says that they're full. And I understand that because I've been in their shoes and I have done the same thing and everyone says they're full and it's because they are. The reality is there's no funding that comes with owner surrenders. People don't want to donate towards owner surrenders. They don't see it as an urgent matter when in fact it actually really very much is. This is where you stop the horses from getting into the pipeline. This is where you do that. Rescues don't get grants for taking in owner surrenders. They don't get financial help. And then the horse ends up in trader's hands or at an auction or God forbid in the direct ship pen and is in a horrible situation. In the last literally three days, I've had seven emails for owner surrenders in the state of California. I am focusing on Daisy right now, but it's so, it makes me so overwhelmed because obviously like I want to help people because this is where you stop the horses from going into the pipeline. But I also know from experience that the donations just don't come in for owner surrender intakes. And I think that the government needs to offer financial assistance to rescues who do take in owner surrenders. I think that would be huge um, because it's, it's hard. Like as a rescue that sees it firsthand and I'm there boots on the ground, videoing and documenting, these horses never should have ended up there. And if the owners would have reached out or maybe they did and all the sanctuaries and rescues said they were full, then that's where the horses ended up. We need to do better than that. And I don't know all of the answers. My heart feels for the direct ship horses that don't stand a chance. My heart hurts for the horses in the auctions pipeline because they don't stand a chance. And then my heart's hurt for the people with the owner surrenders because they're trying to do the right thing. Um, but there's not a lot of assistance for that. And this could also segue me into stop window shopping. I can't tell you how many owner surrender emails I get from people who window shopped their horses or they wanted to rescue and then they got in over their head and now they just want to take that horse and give it away to a rescue because now they're in over their head. You shouldn't have done it. Let the rescues rescue. Donate to the rescues rescuing so that they can go get those horses. Um, good intentions are good, but like I tell people, there's always a reason that, there's always a reason that these horses are there, whether they're unwanted because of their age, unwanted because of their physical limitations, unwanted because they're not trained at all, unwanted because they're mean as shit, unwanted because they're wild, unwanted because they're not what the owners expected them to be. There's always a reason and it's our job, I don't know why that just did that, to as a rescue, when we rescue, to go through and figure out what that reason was. So when people see a pretty horse or see people see, oh, I wanna rescue, and then it ends up being just a bad situation and not a good fit. Now the horse is, it's better than where it was, but it's also not because if the owner can't do right by the horse, then what? Like people, at, rescues are good. Reach out to them to adopt a horse, reach out to them to find a horse, reach out to them for assistance, guidance, advice, all the things. I know that if we don't have a horse that fits what most people are looking for, or in general, I'll say, go try this rescue, go try that rescue, like adopt a rescue horse and now you're saving two lives because now you're taking in a horse who was given a true second chance and allowing that rescue or sanctuary to take in another horse or donkey or dog or cat. They, it, it opens a door, it's two for one, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so, but we gotta, do, we gotta do better by owner surrenders. We've got to, we've got to collectively see the urgency in that. We've got to come together to fundraise for that. There's no other option for people with horses. There just isn't. If they go to the Humane Society, that's not where they need to go. Those people specialize in dogs and cats, not horses. They do the best they can, but that's not where they need to be. They need to be with a rescue or sanctuary that is good at that and does that. So let's do it. Let's do right by Daisy and let's continue to have urgency to do right by owner surrenders. We can change this, but it is literally going to take everybody working together and on the same page as far as people donating to help these owner surrenders. 
Um, I will be going to the auction this Saturday because that's what I do. And I want to be there and be a voice for the horses that don't have one. And I want to be a voice for these owner surrenders, but I need you all to be that voice with me, not just in the urgent auction and kill pen cases, but in the urgent owner surrender cases as well. It's not the horse's fault. It's not, but we need to step up and do right because we all love horses. We love animals and we want to see this industry change. So we've got to be the change. We've got to be the voice. We've got to be the passion, the power, and we've got to step up to the plate and hit a fucking home run.